clicked on this video because you want to know exactly how to use the Atom vertical plugin. You can use this plugin as a separate canvas to manage your vertical content and link your normal scenes and your vertical scenes all together in one spot. It is probably one of the best plugins that's ever came out. In this video, we're gonna be going over how to install it, how to record, and how to live stream on TikTok on it. And with that being said, let's just get straight into the video. In order to install Atom, all you have to do is go onto their website, which is atom.tv. And remember that this plugin is absolutely 100% free. All you have to do is press the free download. And right here, it will say your download will begin in five seconds. I'm not gonna install it because I've already did. Just click save and then you run something and then it goes right Right into your OBS. So now once you have it installed, all you have to do is open OBS and look into the doc section of your OBS right here. And all you have to do is check mark vertical scenes, vertical sources, and vertical. You're gonna have your normal scenes for your main canvas. We have the vertical scenes here. We have our vertical sources, and we also have our canvas so we can see how the layout works in the vertical format. For us. I'm not going to go into too much detail on how to like add a source. I feel like people watching this video should already kind of know how to add the sources on my YouTube channel that explains how to set that up. It'll give you a general idea on how that works. So definitely click on that if you don't know how to do that. And then when you're done, you could come back to this video. We have our vertical scene right here. I have my, my second camera, which is right here. I have my gameplay screen and I have like a little promo card thing. So like when people are scrolling on TikTok or a short clip or something, they can see my socials right there and stuff. What I really want to get into are these buttons down here. Let's just go over the general settings. Right now we have the resolution. Now we have 1080 by 1920. Remember that when you're doing vertical stuff, 1920 by 1080, you have to flip it and that will be the vertical format. Now this is like the best resolution, I think. Let's say your PC can't handle 1080, 1920. You can always go down to 720 and it's still just as good. We have our video bit rate here, audio bit rate. You can leave it at 160. Now we're going to go into a section where it's called backtrack which is this little button right here that kind of looks like a recycling uh, recording button backtrack is basically a replay buffer but they just named it backtrack it records a certain amount of footage for you something happened in your stream five minutes ago you click the backtrack button and it will record and give you the file of the five minutes that you recorded. I put 180 seconds, I think that's fine. I didn't wanna to put too much or too little. You could have backtrack always on or backtrack runs while streaming slash recording. I prefer to have it while I'm streaming or recording. I don't wanna have it on all the time because I feel like it uses up too much resources. A backtrack recording path, I made an OBS short form folder for it. So whenever I decide to like click record or backtrack, it goes straight into that folder. And let me just show you exactly what it looks like. I'm going to click on the backtrack button here. It says backtrack saving backtrack save. I have the folder right here. There's the backtrack file. And then here is the actual footage of what we recorded. It records amazing, really good quality. And it's awesome to have this backtrack option is so freaking cool. Maybe you forget to clip something and this can help you with that. And it could definitely help with the editing process to make it a lot smoother. Let's get into the recording. I really want Adam to do this. If they could add a pause button on the recording, that would be super freaking cool. You just have to click record and then record again so you could end the recording. The recording settings here, I still have it on the recording path of the OBS short form folder that I showed you guys earlier. And for the recording settings, I think this was defaulted and I still haven't had any issues at all. I just left it as is. It says use main OBS settings, absolutely no issues there. I also forgot to mention that if you're trying to learn how to like edit a vertical clip, these are free tools. So if you're trying to get into learning how to edit like your vertical gaming clips or any type of vertical content, check out this video because it will help you a lot and it'll teach you like fundamentals and basics on how to edit a vertical piece of content. Atom allows you to link your scenes together. So when you switch scenes, the scenes in your main canvas and your vertical canvas will switch together. The beautiful thing is you can like right click and here there's this link. Let's say I want to link this uh, TikTok gaming scene. I could link it to my gaming green screen BL, which is basically my setup that I have. So you could link them together and you could do this on your on your stream deck. So if you have a stream deck, even freaking better. So right now I'm gonna switch. It's just such an amazing plugin. Like I love that they added that feature because sometimes I need to, if I wanna switch it to another game, like I wanna cover my screen. I don't want people to see like what I'm doing, you know? So like 
it's just really nice to have. It's such a nice thing to have. So I'm gonna switch back, right? And when I switch back, you're gonna see on the vertical that I am indeed <laughs> uh, in my gaming scene. It is such a cool feature. I am super happy about it. It is so freaking awesome. We're gonna go into the really nice part, which is the live streaming button which says stream vertical right here so unfortunately if you don't have a stream key you won't be able to stream with this plugin if you do have a stream key i'm going to show you guys how to do it and the actual process of how to do it so we're going to open the settings we're going to go into the streaming section here we have our server and our stream key here all you have to do is copy pasta the server and the key into this section for vertical for the advanced settings i actually didn't click uh, use main OBS settings. I actually use my encoder. I put CBR. I put 2500 bitrate. I believe TikTok only caps at 2500. I don't know if that's changed, but I've had it at 2500 and my TikTok quality is actually fine. So I haven't really noticed any difference there. So it's pretty good. I put the preset at good quality, high quality tuning, two passes, high. And I leave these at zero. I don't check mark any of these. And that's basically my settings for streaming. Before you even click this button there's a little bit of a process that you have to take right now we are on my tiktok page if you have a stream key you should have this go live button if you don't you do not have a stream key go ahead and click it and go into your live center and it'll say waiting to connect with the streaming tool now the thing that you have to do and understand is when it comes to live streaming on tiktok through the vertical atom plugin you need to go live first on tiktok when you go live on TikTok, a server URL will generate. I think the server URL stays the same, but the stream key will be generated. And I think every stream, if you're doing this method, it changes each stream. When you go live, nothing's going to happen because on this section in the middle, it's just going to be blank. It's going to be a black screen. That's because you're not sending the feed yet to OBS. So once you get your stream key and your server URL, you could go into this section right here. You could go into the settings and right here, you can put your server and stream key and press OK. But you have to go live first on the website so you could put the new stream key in this section. Once you do that, you can go ahead and click this button and it should send the feed to TikTok and you should be live by that time. Let's say you're live streaming on TikTok. You're obviously going to have to look at your chat to see who's coming in. I hope that someday Adam will be able to have the ability to put the live chat like the actual live chat into OBS. Like, so you can have both your chats, this link, live center, producer, whatever. And when you add it as a doc, it'll show this, but it won't load on the live chat. For now, all you would really have to do is open up the browser of your TikTok, go into your live room and just pop out your live chat and put it on where your screen is, where your OBS is, and just try to, you know, manage it like that. And there you guys have it. There goes the full Atom plugin tutorial for OBS. I hope that this video brought you a ton of value and I hope that you learned something new. This plugin has definitely saved me a ton of time on post-processing, editing, live streaming. All in OBS is so cool to have it all in there. It's super clean, extremely convenient, more convenient than opening up a second OBS or TikTok Studio because it does take up a lot of your CPU, right? I'm super thankful for the Atom team, the dev team, all you guys in there in the Discord. You guys are doing such an amazing Amazing job keep at it I can't wait to see the future updates that you guys make and thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one peace out later